Hey all, hope you're well. It's Tina here again. So today I'm going to be showing you how I'll be crafting with my little girls. It's not just any kind of crafting. I'm going to show you how we stamp our wrapping paper. So it's really nice to have received a present wrapped up in paper that has been sort of stamped or has been drawn on. But the most important part, it has been made with love by children as well. So I'll be showing you today how to get your kids involved for Valentine's Day and get some wrapping paper out of it too. Here's how we got on. We need a little piece of paper and some paint and some felt tip colours and some crayons and some pencils and some paint brushes. You will need a cardboard roll, a knife for the grown up, a heart cutter, some glitter paint, a potato scissors and a wet sponge. So the first thing I'm going to show you is how to make your own heart stamp using just potato and a heart shaped cutter. So I never let the children do this obviously because there's a knife involved. Cut a potato in half. I just put the cutter on the chopping board and then I'll push the potato down into it. Not one. This is actually um, from the play kitchen. I don't have a heart shaped cookie cutter. Oh, it worked. Awesome. Right, so you can see that the cutter is in there. Just go to use the knife and cut into it just so we can get the actual um, heart shape out. Not very good. We start cutting there. So what kind of paint are you going to use, Millie, for um, your stamp? Pink. Pink? And how about you, Nikki? Red. Right. Awesome. Right, so there's the other bit that we can get rid of. Okay, look at that. How gorgeous is that? So that's your one. Let's get the other one made. Yeah, that. So rather than dipping it into the paint, what you can do is paint the paint with the paintbrush. Because if you dip it into the paint, you might get too much. There you are, if you can see that also. No, it's not cooked. What sort of foods are made from potato? Yeah, you do. Jacket potato. Who loves? <laughs> All right, there we go. And maybe what colour stamp did you say you were going to use? Um, pink. Pink, awesome. I'm just going to take the cutter out now. There we are, another heart shape stamp there for Millie. All right, that's your one. Okay, and then I'm using an old sponge that we know I'm using. I'm going to cut a heart shape out of that. I'm just going to freestyle it. great way to make your own wrapping paper. It doesn't have to just be for Valentine's Day, you can do it for birthdays, for Christmas, for Mother's Day. For Mother's Day, um, one I like to do is hand prints. Um, and you know what, this is so lovely because grandparents really like stuff from the children as well. So, there we go. That looks alright. What do you think, kids? Does that look like hot? Yeah. yeah? So we've just got some old cardboard roll here. Actually, you know what I'll do just so it's easy to hold. Oops, just flatten the whole thing like that. Push it down like that. What I will do is grab a little bit of cellar tape just to hold it in place. How does that look, girls? Good. Yeah. We'll just take the top together so that the Shape stays. There we go. Oh, that looks really gorgeous, that. I can't wait to see this wrapping paper that you two make. Right, now that all that is ready, let's get the paper on. First, we're going to draw a whole lot of hearts. Awesome. So, what colour are you using, Nikki? Red. And how about you, Millie? Pink. Can I help you? Yeah. Thanks. 
stamps now. Ready yeah. for that? Yeah? Right, so grab your paintbrush and paint your heart really carefully. Wow, Millie. Gorgeous. Let's take all that excess paint off. There you are. Right, I think you can stamp it now. When you push down, try not to move it too much. Look at that, that looks gorgeous. Let's stamp that one as well because you've still got paint left on there. It looks nice. It does. It might have slipped. If you've got a bit too much paint on it, it might slip. Maybe shall we venture out of this little corner? <gasps> wow. Look at that. Then when you put it on, just gently press it down. There you go. and a little bit of mess too. Kids, did you enjoy that? Yeah. yeah. Awesome. So I can't wait for it to dry up and as soon as it has, I will show you how to wrap your Valentine's gift with this very paper. Hey everyone, hope you're well. So I'm back again and the paper has dried. Um, so I'm just going to, it looks really, really funky. I'm just going to take the tape off that was holding it in place. And I'm going to show you a really easy way to wrap your Valentine's presents. It's Valentine's Day. Just take the edges. Be careful not to open the edges. We just used normal poster paper. Um, pick some of this up from a hobby craft. Not too expensive. The only negative thing about it is sometimes it can be a little bit see-through, but that's okay. I'm just going to put some of that stuff to the side. And grab the bits that I need to wrap it. I just realised as well, we didn't get a chance to use the stamp, but what would have happened with this is the edges just get painted and again sort of stamped down. Maybe I'll try that with it. I'll do that. Okay. So I'm gonna wrap a paper pad. First thing you need to do, if you've seen my free tutorial, is measure out how much paper is needed. Just going to move these scissors out of the way as well, and then I can go from there. So, one, two, three, four. Yeah, there's enough paper that way. So it's actually this side. Yeah, that looks quite nice. So this is the sort of bit that will be at the top of the middle. I think that's good enough. So I'll use that side. And then just make sure you've got enough to cover at least three quarters of both of the edges. A little um, cutting there with a pair of scissors so I know where to put it on. Roll that over and make a crease. There's loads of paper left, um, which is great because I can use it for another present as well. There we are. I haven't actually got my craft knife on me, so I'm just going to cut through that with a pair of scissors. A rather sharp pair of scissors, right? I'm gonna cut this gorgeous paper out to the side. Okay, now let's get this placed and wrapped up. Oh, I love it! I love it! I really do. What I'm gonna do, I'll use this side as the bottom. So I don't even have my ruler, I'm just kind of starting this one a little bit. 
but that's okay. Like that one's gonna go there. Use the edges as well. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this excess paper off, otherwise when you do the edges it's actually going to get in the way. some double-sided stick tape. As close to the edge as possible, peel it back and then we can stick that down. I'm really excited about this, it already looks so beautiful. Right, let's get the sides down, so push the paper down into the corner as far as you can. And just crease this up. Okay, push that in. Do the other side as well at the same time. This is such a great way to get kids involved for Valentine's Day. Um, about love at the end of the day, isn't it? So yeah, it's a really great way to get them involved. I'm just going to turn that around now and fold these two flaps over as well and just crease the edges. Oh, it just so happened that the hearts ended up right in the middle. It's great, that's absolutely great. And now to get those edges looking neat, just see where they meet and fold that back a bit, just to get a line. Fold that inwards. This is how we professionally wrap gifts, by the way. I'm not um, doing it to be extra, this is my habit. Oh, nature. We do the other side as well. And then just fold that into, there we go. Gorgeous. So if you can see there, as soon as it's taped down, everything is beautifully in the light. So let's get that taped down. Well, it would have been great to have some of this pink at the top, but our little Millie was, bless her, just as she was concentrated on one area with the stamping and the colouring. If you've got paper that doesn't get wet too easily, um, once you've wrapped it, you can do a bit more like glitter glue and stuff like that on there as well. I know we didn't use a glitter glue before. Um, the girls were just having so much fun with the stamps. We didn't get a chance to use a glitter glue. And here we are. It's a gift wrapped up for Valentine's Day. Rocking paper made by the kids. Perfect if you don't have a chance to get out and get some. I'm going to top it off with a little bit of ribbon as well. So because the heart is sort of there, I'm going to do a nice little, uh, you know what, I'll do a bow up in that corner. That will look really nice. So let's go around this way with it. Just measure it out. I have a more in-depth tutorial as well um, on how to do this bow style, on how to do um, gift wrapping too. There's a free tutorial on my website www.wrappitbytina.co.uk and be sure to download it. If you'd like to learn more bow styles and to see how I did this wrap as well. I'm just going to bow all that into the middle. Okay. 
maske og kalvinnya. Normally I'd be doing this in the studio, but today I, I've literally just lifted it off the table from when the kids finished painting it and I've just started painting and um, wrapping straight away. Oh, love it when a bow is just like perfect the first time around. I just want to make the loops a tiny bit bigger. There you go, pop your finger in, make sure they're both the same size position where you want to and lastly don't forget to cut the tails the, um, lots of ribbons where the tails are not cut and sometimes the thread can get frayed there we are all done enjoy making your own wrapping paper and if you do i can't wait to see what it looks like make sure you tag us in um, your mates as well and yeah i can't wait to see it have a lovely valentine's day all and there you are a little bit of crafting a little bit of fun and your own wrapping paper is off take care everyone <laughs>